players are returning to Diablo Immortal, but not only that, players have never left. With Diablo 4 coming out, so many people were saying that Diablo Immortal was going to die, everyone was going to leave Immortal and go to Diablo 4. And sure, players did try out Diablo 4, and maybe some players even left Diablo Immortal and went to Diablo 4. But we need to remember something, that players never stopped coming to Diablo Immortal. With thousands of new players, if not more, every single day, Diablo Immortal is growing every single day. And... When Diablo 4 has a campfire that really doesn't do the best for the game, talking about the season updates, well, it's going to also help Diablo Immortal. Now, I have people from the community that have voiced their concern and um, their unhappiness with the update. I mean, look at DM's face right there. Look at the guy. He doesn't look so happy. Dev campfire chat, everything you need to know. Things changed drastically in Diablo 4 with this new update. Now, balances and changes could come all the time, but it doesn't mean that right now it didn't give a boost to everyone that wants to play Diablo Immortal. Here, let's take a look at what Riker looks like here. Okay, what does his say? Diablo 4 Season 1, worst patch in history, his response. So I have friends, I have people that had left Diablo Immortal even before Diablo 4 was launched. They were frustrated with Diablo Immortal, with the monetization and all the problems that the game had had. And in talks with them recently, they had played Diablo 4, enjoyed it, because it is a fantastic game, heard and, and noticed what Season 1 was going to do to Diablo 4 players, and they have quit Diablo 4. And because they are hungry for a Diablo game, a Diablo-style action RPG, they are coming back to Diablo Immortal for a more casual, seasonless experience. And I think this is a huge part of it right here. Diablo Immortal has no seasons. Your progression just continually goes up. If you're new to the game, there's enhancers that'll get you on par with everyone else inside of the game at a much quicker level. So someone that starts today on my server in about a month's time can be right where I am, honestly, if not less. I think they could probably do it in probably two or three weeks which is crazy that what took me over a year to get to, someone could get to in two or three weeks just based on the progression enhancements to get people there. Now, little teaser here, on Tuesday in the afternoon slash night, I'm gonna be doing a live stream that's going to feature players coming back to Diablo Immortal for the first time in six to 10 months players that are just starting again because they got tired of what was going on with Diablo 4 and they're excited to get back into a Diablo experience in Immortal. Not to mention everything that has come to Diablo Immortal since these players have quit. Diablo Immortal is not the same game that it was 10 months ago. It's so much better with so many more different things inside of the game. And what I'm going to be doing on Tuesday is walking players through what has changed teaching them about new mechanics inside of the game, how they can take advantage of them because they've been gone so long. Now, let's talk about nerfs. Players that maybe, let's say, built a sorcerer inside of Diablo 4, they took a pretty hefty nerf, right? And the players feel that they're gonna have to regrind everything that they've done and essentially start over with the new season. Now, I know for me personally, I like how it's done in Diablo Immortal better. I don't want to start a new character over again every single season. Now, as a content creator, as a YouTuber, sure, that's kind of cool because then you could always have new content to create, new videos to make for the new season. It's like the game is being launched over and over again. So it's good for you on YouTube. But when you think about what it is for you as a player, unless if you're a diehard Diablo player that wants to grind like crazy all the time, I... In Diablo Immortal, for example, I'm proud of the character that I've created. I'm very happy with it. And the last thing I would want would to be having to start over again. That is of no interest to, to me whatsoever. And whether you have to start over again because everything is reset or whether you have to start over again because your class gets a massive nerf and you feel like I can't class change, so I got to start a new character. Either one of those feels bad. Now let's talk about nerfs in general. In gaming, Nerfs don't feel good, right? I remember back in the day when I played Clash Royale, 
I was a hog rider player for any of you that are into or understand how that game works. And when they nerfed the hog rider, I built my entire attack, my entire deck around that one win condition, around the hog rider. And when the hog rider got a nerf, I was like, well, what the heck now? Everything that I've been working towards to build up strength in the game has been nerfed to hell. And now I have to start over. And that would often make me turn off the game and not play it for long periods of time. I think this is exactly what's going on inside of Diablo 4 right now. Now, I am not a Diablo 4 expert. I am not someone that even plays Diablo 4 anymore at this point in time. I chose to put the game down before any of this happened and to play Diablo Moral because it's what I like. We spoke about that in previous videos. But I could see and I have seen many people just take the game, kind of give up on it for now and say, you know what? I don't want to do it all again. I want a more casual experience, Diablo Mortal, or I want a more, um, uh, an experience that is not going to get washed away. When you gain power in Diablo Immortal, when you progress your character, it's there and you're not losing it. Unless if they come up with some type of new mechanic inside of the game in the future where they throw seasons or something like it in the game, well, which I don't see happening, then we're in trouble, but that's not going to happen. In addition to that, there really aren't big nerfs inside of Diablo Immortal if we've noticed. In my opinion, it's better to buff characters than nerf characters. It's better to buff a mechanic in the game rather than to nerf a mechanic in the game. So let's say, for example, the Sorcerer is too strong inside of Diablo 4. Rather than to nerf it to all hell, what about buffing everything surrounding it so that it naturally gets less powerful because everything else gets more powerful and it doesn't have that nerf tag attached to it because it's just a mind play. Typically the same type of thing is actually happening, but it's not in a form of a nerf. So it's in my opinion, accepted more easily by the community. So I think that's where we're at. I'm excited to see Diablo Immortal grow. If I look at just the numbers on my channel, I could see that the interest in Diablo Immortal has gone up by 100% from where it was before Diablo 4 launched. So as I had mentioned, as I've heard DM mentioned in previous videos as well, Diablo 4 is actually helping Diablo Immortal. It's, a, it's getting people into a Diablo game, maybe for the first time. It's introducing people to a Diablo game. And those players, maybe they're like, oh, I want more Diablo, where can I get more? Oh, look, they have a mobile game. I'm gonna try that out too. We're getting those people. We're getting people that play Diablo 4 and are now frustrated with the patch and they don't wanna deal with seasons. So they're realizing that, oh, there's no seasons in Diablo more. I can play there and I won't have anything wiped. And of course, we have the natural progression of players joining the game because they've seen advertisements, they've seen videos on YouTube, or they just had happened to stumble across it in the App Store. So Diablo Mortal is growing. It has been for a year now. Things are trending upward for the game versus right now, Diablo 4 is a little bit stumbling. Of course, I'm not saying Diablo 4 is going to fail. I think the game is still the best action RPG on PC. I'm just saying that Diablo 4 and Blizzard actually helped Diablo Immortal with Diablo 4, with the season patch in Diablo 4, and with just giving exposure to a ton of players that have never played a Diablo game before. Hope you guys are enjoying Diablo Immortal as much as I am. I'm enjoying it more now than ever. The Blood Knight class has been a nice refresh to the game, being able to play something different and experience something brand new for the first time. So has the Crimson Planks, that's been awesome. Let me know what you're enjoying most inside of Diablo Immortal, and more importantly, if you have recently come to Diablo Immortal from Diablo 4. We'll talk about this more later on this week, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.